To write the formula for calcium chloride, we'd first write Ca for calcium and then Cl for chlorine. But we're not done because calcium is a metal and chlorine is a nonmetal. That means we have an ionic compound. Because it's ionic, we need to balance the charges. So if you look at calcium on the periodic table, it's in group 2. It has a plus 2 charge. And if you look at chlorine, it's in group 7A or 17, and it has a charge of negative 1. So those charges don't add up to 0. We say the net charge is not equal to 0. So we need to somehow balance those charges out. And we do that by changing the subscripts. So here, if I put a 2 by the chlorine, that means I have two chlorine atoms and each one is negative 1. 2 times negative 1 gives me a negative 2, and that would balance out the 2 plus charge and give me a net charge of 0. There's another way to do it, though. We can use the crisscross method to figure out what those subscripts will be, those little numbers after the elements. In this case, we take the 2 and we put it here, so we have Cl2, and we can move the 1, we ignore the negative sign, and put it after the calcium. But we don't really need to do that. It's implied that there's one calcium there. And this gives us a final formula of CaCl2 for calcium chloride. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.